activator can be used at any point in the shave. Right now, I want to just cover its role as an active primer and mix builder in the shave cloth or the shaving brush itself. That's the reason I call it activator. I want to show you now how this works. I have, I'm so soaking a shave cloth here in the tureen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use activator as an active mix building agent. What we call in method shaving a peaking agent. Okay? P-E-A-K-I-N-G. Peaking. It's going to peak the mix. It's going to do it very, very quickly. We're going to take our cloth. I've squeezed some of the excess water out. I'm going to hold it like a diamond as I always have in the past. I'm going to put a hard soap primer on there. All right? I'm going to throw a little bit of water on here. And I'm going to kind of get this going a little bit. All right? And this is a standard, this is a standard mixed uh, uh, generating technique I've shown many, many, many times. I'm not going to elaborate it. I'm just going to go on ahead and start doing it here. Show you at what point to introduce the activator. Now, if you'll notice, I'm getting a good slag media, what we call slag, coming off the, off the, off the hard soap primer. I'm using uh, a slag. Uh, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm sorry. I'm using water. Um, and the hard soap primer to produce what is called slag. This is slag right here. It's a very famous term in method shaving. Uh, it's your basic uh, mother's milk, if you will, of method shaving. It's, it's, the, it's the primordial soup of this whole system. All right, now, this is very fast. This is a very fast media right here. Can I cut this? Well, I can, but I, I really would prefer not to. It's a little, little tricky. Um, there are some shavers who love to cut this. This is a very, very fast media. I am not one of the shavers who loves to cut a pure slag mix. Next step is I'm going to go ahead and add my cutting ball, as you've seen me do before. Now, you're going to notice that the mix is going to start to get much thicker. Now, bear in mind that the cutting ball is also a primer. It's surprising, and you, many of you have heard me refer to it as an intermediate liquid buffer, and it's that too. It's a, it's, a com, it's, it's a compound product, depending on how it's used, but right now, we're going to refer to it as a basic primer. Um, not in the league with water, but it is definitely, in this context, being used as a an, an extended primer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this activator, and I'm going to inject four, four injections of activator into my mix. Now I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to start lathering or peaking the mix using the activator. Now what's happening instantly is that the activator has already generated more mix than I can possibly handle. And what I want to show you here is how the activator creates a much, much more stable mix. I'm going to go on ahead and pull the mix. Look at that. Now this is what activator does. It, this is why we call it a peaking agent. Now I want to show all of you this magnificent thing called the hydrogenic sac. Now please, I'm going to hopefully get the camera here where we can get a really good view of this. Notice it's shaking, all right? Now the reason this is called a hydrogenic sac is because it's loaded with water, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to take this, it looks just like shaving cream, but it is not shaving cream. There is no shaving cream on the planet that looks like this, or certainly that acts like this. This is a sack full of water, but we're not done with this yet. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to spread this on our face. And then, once the hydrogenic sack is up on our face, we can start to apply a piece of steel to it with amazing facility. The other thing we can do, which is unique to method shaving, is we can load water into that hydrogenic sac as we're shaving. So what we can do is we can take this guy and we can flatten him out and we can add a little bit of water to it. All right? And we can just roll, you know, kind of flip it over and we can hydrate this mix and we can cut it at a much, much higher velocity which means we can cut closer and faster with fewer blade strokes just by adding water. So I want you all to see is that we've taken water, we've taken slag off the primer, and we've taken cutting balm and activator, and we've created this magnificent cutting media. 
that's going to run circles around any commercial mix you care to put on your face. It's stable. Now, if I did not have activator in this, I could still be doing this. I could still have this, this, this in my hand like this, but it would not have this marvelous wetness to it. It would start to, it would start to kind of cake up slightly. It wouldn't be too serious, but it wouldn't have this glorious elasticity. This is called elasticity when we can spread it like this, and we can work it. And this elasticity is, is marvelous in the sense that we can spread and spread and spread and cut and spread and cut as much as we want. So all of these together form the primer family. Water, activator, cube slag, and cutting ball. Water, activator, slag off of your cube, and cutting ball. Now, in method shaving, these four, just as you've seen, have been grouped together. They've been combined to create what is called wet mix. What you just saw in the palm of my hand, and they're still on this cloth, is wet mix. Okay? That is a wet mix right here. You notice there's not a whole lot of it left because I extracted most of it for the demonstration. But if you'll notice, I can work this wet mix and I can thicken it up very nicely and create an excellent, excellent uh, uh, blading substrate to cut. It's excellent. And I can, I can even load this with some water. I can put water right into that and create a beautiful, beautiful, long, elastic substrate that I can cut all day long if I want. So when we combine water, activator, cube slag, and cutting ball through the cloth, we pull, we do what was called a mix extraction, and we put it up on our face, that's called wet mix. There is no shaving cream in method shaving. It doesn't exist because the shaving cream is a chemical agent that is invented, that is created through chemical processes and the use of air. This is a water-based media that is produced through the, through the organic combination of these agents to create a colloidal matrix that we call a hydrogenic sac, or in, 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 more, in more basic terms, a wet mix. However, the mix, the wet mix is in the cloth. Once it's put on your face, that is a hydrogenic sac, because then we can load that mix with water through what is called a manual irrigation. And that is one of the most amazing events in all of wet shaving. You just pick up some water and you load it into the mix that's on your face. The water is trapped and you keep cutting. Let me just back up a moment and just cover one other thing, that, uh, one other point of great interest here in all of this. And that is, for advanced wet shaving, or uh, method shaving, it is perfectly uh, uh, legitimate for you to take your, take your wet mix hydrogenic sac that's in the palm of your hand and add things to it. You can add activator. You can add some cutting ball. All right? uh, and you just, do, you just do what is called a fold over. You just massage it, fold it over, massage it, fold it over, and put it up. That technique used to be very popular years ago. We don't do it so much anymore because of the cloth. The cloth has made a lot of that type of thing really redundant. I mean, it's no, really no, no need to do it anymore. Uh, 